Thank you for choosing Swing Catalyst. Now let's get started. When you open up the software, you'll come to this main screen. Before we start to analyze, let's get into making sure that we have everything set up correctly. So go to Settings, General, and at the top you have Units. If you're using a launch monitor or a sensor plate and having it integrated, you will want to choose between metric or imperial based on where you live. Next are notifications. We do recommend that you keep these sounds enabled and the beta versions disabled unless you would like to be a test user. A test user are for those of you that would like to receive beta versions from our development to test the software prior to our launch, but do speak to your sales representative about the pros and cons about being a beta tester. The next is video rendering. We do encourage you to keep both of those enabled. Next is video encoding. This is the performance of the computer to make sure that the computer is running at its highest level. Which one to choose? Just click there and run the performance test. You can see I ran the performance test on this computer and take the highest value, which is our Intel, and do make sure that you have the highest one chosen. Next up is license information. You do not need to do anything with the configuration. Check for updates. Do make sure that you are connected to the internet and that you are always on the latest software version. Next comes database. The path of the database will be stored on your C drive, but if you have another memory or a drive, you can move the database to that one. Uh, I will explain here soon in regards to how you can change that in, on a support page, but for the moment, let's leave that right there. Below that is email branding. If you were to send out a lesson recording, this is the name in which your recipient will receive the email with that name. So go ahead and choose the appropriate name in that box. Below this is lesson recording. Lesson recordings are video and voice recordings that can be sent. And this page with this information will be displayed on the first and end, so start and end of the video. So do put in the appropriate information there. And if you'd like to select an image, you can select image and it will take you to your desktop or a folder in which you can put in the picture of your choice. Email sharing, this is the setup of the email. I will here soon show you some of the support articles in regards to setting up both the email and your YouTube account. Next, let's go to cameras. These are the cameras that have been detected within the Swing Catalog software. Do go ahead and click on the arrow to see that we have an image. The next thing you'll want to do is take it from disabled to enabled and do put the correct face on right or the camera position. So this is the camera that is to the right of the target line facing the player for right-handed golfer. And do also make sure that the camera is on and that will be the camera that is on within the software. It's very important that the camera also matches the image. So for instance, if you had the image looking like this, we want to make sure that that is a down the line. This is important if you were to download any of the tour swings, they do match up in comparisons and also if anyone were to send you a swing. I would like you to go ahead and click on advanced, filter, and here I want to make sure they have it enabled. This will sharpen up the image and there are some other features here that you can change if you would like to make those changes. Next, let's go to hardware. If you have a sensor plate, you can go ahead and select which sensor plate that you do have. If you are not too sure, you can contact your sales rep or you can check the auto detect my setup. That should also find the correct uh, sensor plate that you do have and do you do want to make sure you have the calibration file and it is calibrated. Again, check with your sales rep and we do have support articles regarding this. Next is launch monitor. If you do have a launch monitor, make sure that the launch monitor is connected and the software is running and you can turn that on. That will enable the launch monitor and again, choose one of these, which one is appropriate and after you do and it does connect, this will go away. So it should just say, for instance, flight scope and there will be nothing next to it if it is set up correctly. You can have the launch monitor as a trigger. So go ahead and enable the trigger. What the trigger will do is once the launch monitor starts to track the ball, 
it will take the video clip, which is constantly recording, it will clip the video clip two seconds back, three seconds forward, and save it with the launch monitor data. If you're using TrackMan and the timing does not work out correctly, you will want to go to configuration and make sure that's set at a number right around 1500. You could go plus or minus depending on where the image is being clipped. And again, you could check with your sales representative or even our support team. Trigger devices, if you do not have a launch monitor, you could have an external microphone that would trigger very much like the launch monitor. So go ahead and enable that and you can set up the configuration in regards to the volume and, and also the detection by go ahead and clicking on the device and you can go into properties and adjust the settings. And finally, let's move into screen. Screen at the bottom here, you'll find lesson audio devices. Now this is if you have a desktop microphone and will be doing lesson recordings. So it's a voiceover lesson recording, which I'll show you here soon. But do make sure that is enabled and you can configure the microphone very similar to the trigger microphone. So that ends the portion of settings. So let's move up to analyze. Analyze is the database of players and they're all listed in alphabetic order. If you, they are already not listed, you can make a new one by clicking new, new user, and the required fields are the first two, the first name and last name. So do make sure you add the first name, last name. The other information is optional up to you. And if you do have a sensor plate, do make sure that this is enabled because if you have a permanent sensor plate, this will flip within our software so you do not have to manually move the hardware. After this, go ahead and click on a player's name like mine. It will show up here and click the arrow. It will bring you over to a page in regards to capture, open, and import. Before I move to that, I'm going to show you one final thing. So let's go up to the main menu. Now this is how you can get all of our software at any point. We'll go main menu. We're going to end the session. And I just wanted to bring you over to help. Now help is some information for you. So in regards to our learning center, you can go ahead and open that information. And what this will do is this is going to provide you information on different articles and lessons of the week. So I do recommend you taking a look at that. The Help Center, if you do have some struggles with the software or have any questions on to, for instance, uh, camera issues, you can go ahead and put in those that information and up will come our support page on different articles that will help you in regards to our software. If these do not help, what we'd like you to do is email our support team. So we'd like you to email to uh, support at swingcatalyst.com. Do contact them. They will email you back asking for a remote. Now, a remote is for them to remote or access your computer from their location. And what they will ask is an ID. So do click on this. What's going to happen is you'll receive uh, a little box will come up just like this with your ID. Now, do not give them this ID. Give them the ID that's on your, your computer and that way they can go ahead and remote onto your computer and resolve the issue that you're having. So again, thank you for choosing Swing Catalyst. I will be having some more tutorials coming up very soon. Thank you.